Nehemiah chapter 11. Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of every ten of them to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commanded all who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. There are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem. Now some Yisraelites, priests, Levites, temple servants, and descendants of Solomon's servants lived in the towns of Judah, each on their own property in the various towns, while other people from both Judah and Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. From the descendants of Judah, Athaiah, son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, the descendant of Perez, and Maaseiah, the son of Baruch, the son of Kal Jose, the son of Hazaiah, the son of Adaiah, the son of Joiarib, the son of Zechariah, a descendant of Shelah. The descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem totaled 468 men of standing. From the descendants of Benjamin, Salu, son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pediah, the son of Kolaiah, the son of Measaiah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jeshaiah, and his followers, Gebei and Salai, 928 men. Joel, son of Zikri, was their chief officer, and Judah, son of Hasanua, was over the new quarter of the city. Of the priests, Jedaiah, the son of Joiarib, Jachin, Saraiah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Meraiath, the son of Ahitub, was the ruler of the house of God. And their brethren that did the work of the house were eight hundred twenty and two. And Adaiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Peleliah, the son of Amzi, the son of Zechariah, the son of Peshur, the son of Malchiah. And his brethren, chief of the fathers, two hundred forty and two, and a Mashai, the son of Azareel, the son of Ahasai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Immer, and their brethren, mighty men of valor, an hundred twenty and eight, and their overseer was Zabdiel, the son of one of the great men. From the Levites, Shimeiah, son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Buni, Shabbathai, and Josabad, two of the heads of the Levites, who had charge of the outside work of the house of God. Matanai, son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the director who led in thanksgiving and prayer. Bakbukiah, second among his associates, and Abda, son of Shemua, the son of Galal, son of Jedithan. The Levites in the holy city totaled 284. Also the gatekeepers, Akub, Talmon, and their brethren who kept watch at the gates were 172. The rest of Israel, of the priests and the Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, each on his own inheritance, but the temple servants were living in Ophel, and Ziha, and Gishpa were in charge of the temple servants. Now the overseer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzi, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Madamiah, the son of Micah, from the sons of Asaph, who were the singers for the service of the house of God. For there was a commandment from the king concerning them and a firm regulation for the song leaders day by day. Pethahiah, the son of Meshesabel, the son of Zerah, the son of Judah, was the king's representative in all matters concerning the people. Now as for the villages... With their fields, some of the sons of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its towns in Dibion and its towns and in Jechabzeel and its villages. And in Jeshua and Malada and Beth Palat and Hazar Shual and Beersheba and its villages and Ziklag and Makona and its villages and Enrimon and Zorah and Jarmuth, Zenoa, Adalam and their villages, Lachish and its fields and Azekah and its villages. So they encamped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The people of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward at Michmash, Aijah, Bethel, and its villages, Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Ramah, Gedeim, Hadid, Zeboim, Nabalat, Lod, and Ono, the valley of craftsmen. And certain divisions of the Levites in Judah were assigned to Benjamin.